Hello everyone and welcome to another video tutorial on YouTube channel of tutorialspedia.com. In this video tutorial, I will explain how we can send email using Gmail SMTP in TIPCO BW6 by creating a process in Business Studio. Here is the detail of what we are going to cover uh, in this video tutorial. What we are going to do is that we will create a simple process in BW6 using Business Studio. And this process will be configured to use send mail activity from the mail pallet. And uh, for sending the email, we will be using Gmail SMTP configurations. And uh, I will explain you as well that uh, in order to send email using Gmail SMTP, there are some additional steps that we need to perform and uh, to make sure that Gmail allows sending emails from less secure apps because uh, Gmail itself has a strong security uh, implementations and it doesn't allow directly by default to send emails from the applications unless you make certain changes on your account and especially if you have two-factor authentication at, uh, uh, enabled for your uh, uh, gmail account two-step uh, verification uh, in that case uh, there is an additional step required where you have to create an application password only then you can uh, send email from your um, smtp configured in uh, any application and uh, for this we will also see how we can configure SSL client uh, which we will be using for our Gmail SMTP and also how we can configure our key store for this purpose. All these uh, configurations for SSL client and uh, key store are required in order to use uh, SMTP with uh, SSL enabled. And last but not least, we will test our process. Uh, this will be a timer-based process, which will run only once. And we will see that how it sends an email and we will conf con confirm uh, by uh, checking into the email account that email has been sent and received successfully uh, from the TIPCO BW process. So without further ado, let's directly jump into the implementation part in Business Studio and see how things go. So I have already created a, pro a project in uh, Business Studio and uh, I will directly start the implementation. So in the processes, I'm going to create a new process by choosing new and I will choose Business Works process. And for this case, I will choose an empty process and let's rename it to Email Sender process. So we are going to create a process in the default uh, package and we will just click finish. Now we have an empty process created. So uh, what we need to do, we need to uh, add some process starter activity in this case. So I'm going to add a timer. I will choose add activity and from the general activities, I'm going to add a timer. For the configuration of this timer, we will click on this and in general, we will just keep the default. It runs once and uh, we don't want to run it multiple times. So what will happen is that whenever the project will be loaded, this process uh, will be triggered only once. Okay, next we want to add a send mail activity that is available in the mail palette. And I will choose this send mail. And let's create a transition from the timer to the send mail activity. All right, so here comes the actual part of configuration of uh, SMTP and uh, SSL client and key store. This send mail activity uh, by default, if you see uh, in the configurations, is uh, providing us the option to choose the SMTP property. And we did not create any. So if we choose this uh, by, uh, binocular, we see that uh, we don't have any uh, res shared resource SMTP uh, configuration available. So we have the option to create a new shared resource. So we'll click on this create shared resource. Now it will create a new SMTP resource. Let's rename it to Gmail SMTP resource and click on finish. Now, if you click on this uh, arrow uh, to choose edit default resource, it will route you to the uh, SMTP resource that you just created. And here you have to make the actual configurations. Now in the SMTP part, we are going to uh, specify Gmail SMTP details. So for the machine name, we will choose smtp.gmail.com. And for the port, we are going to choose 587. And we are not going to choose any timeout value. And this username and password, this is very important. As I explained you earlier that uh, if you are going to use your Gmail account, and if you have two-step verification enabled for your Gmail account, then you will not be able to use it directly uh, from an application. Rather, you will have to go and create your application password and only you will be able to use that application password 
which is a separately generated password. But if you don't have two-step uh, two verification uh, enabled for your Gmail account, then you can just go to your Gmail account uh, settings and allow less secure apps. So if you allow less secure apps, then you can use your uh, uh, normal uh, Gmail account uh, username and password. So if you have uh, two-step verification uh, already enabled for your account, then here are the steps that you need to follow to generate app password in Gmail. You will have to go uh, to your Gmail and you will choose manage your Google account by right clicking uh, by clicking on uh, the top right corner uh, in your Gmail uh, on the on the logo or on the picture of your uh, Gmail account and then you will go to the security option and once you click on security you will you will see the option signing into Google here you will see the option app passwords you will click on this app passwords and then uh, Gmail will ask you to verify yourself by providing your actual Gmail password. So once you will provide your actual uh, Gmail password, uh, password and you will be verified, then you will be uh, uh, moved to another uh, page where you will have the option to select app and device and generate password. Here, if you are going to use, uh, uh, in, in our case, we are going to use Tipco BW. So we, you will choose the other option and uh, you will just name it something. Uh, you can name it anything like uh, Tipco BW test or whatever. And then uh, it will ask you to, it will generate password for you. And you will have to copy that password and use that password uh, in your Tipco BW process, SMTP configurations of your Gmail account. Okay, so once you have uh, your uh, username and password available, be it your uh, application password for the two-step uh, verified account, or uh, the normal uh, gmail account whatever it is uh, you will have to use it here so for my case i have created a sample uh, gmail account for this purpose so i will use that so let me provide the password and see if it works you will have to enable this start tls and this should be checked only then uh, gmail smtp will work so if you click on this test connection if your uh, username and password are correct and valid you will receive that uh, SMTP connection test is successful. As you can see, we have received the message that SMTP connection is successful. So now what we need to do, we need to uh, go to security tab and this uh, in the security, we will choose this confidentiality. Just check this. And once you uh, check this, then you will have to specify the SSL client. So that's the next step we have to do. We don't, we, we did not create SM SSL client yet. So we will click here on these dots and then we will choose this create shared resource so let's create the shared resource and uh, um, let's keep the default name and click on finish now click on this SSL, ssl client so that you are routed to the newly created ssl client okay here now you need to uh, make a few changes in ssl protocol let's choose tls version 1.2 and now here in the key store provided as a store here we are going to click on this uh, these three dots and we are going to create a new shared resource this is the new shared resource uh, with the name key store provider resource let's keep the name as default and click finish now go to this key store provider as trust store and here you will have to specify the url to your key store there are two options one is that uh, uh, if you uh, download the required uh, certificates from uh, Gmail and then you add that into a key store which is your own key store then you can refer to that key store but the good thing is that in uh, BW 6.3 which I'm using if you just refer to the CSRs the default uh, uh, key store that comes bundled with your uh, BW installation uh, it will still work. So you will have to route to your BW home, then Tipco JRE 1.8 lib security and C asserts. So just uh, refer to this URL and uh, the default password uh, that is provided by Tipco when this uh, C assert is provided is change it. So if you did not change the password, just use the password as is. Otherwise, whatever password you selected, you choose. And the type you will have to choose JKS. Okay, so once you have done this, then your configurations are correct. And uh, you can just verify that your uh, SMTP has all the required information. It has uh, uh, SMTP configuration, confidentiality conf confirmation, and in SSL client, you are already uh, referring to your uh, key store. So things look good. Let's go to the process. 
and now in the process what we are going to use, do is that in the send mail we are going to make the required uh, inputs in the input tab uh, in terms of sender and receiver so in the from we will choose let's choose the same tutorials pdr's test email that i just created for this purpose and in the two we will specify some email to whom we want to send let's send it to another email and here in the subject we are going to specify some subject test email sent from tutorials pdr tutorial okay and in the body what we are going to do we are going to choose this application name and we are going to map it to the body body text and let's concat and in the body we will send this email is from app and the name of the app whatever the application name we have so we are concatenating it okay so once this is configured now what we need to do we need to log so let's just put a log activity and because we want to log uh, some something once we have sent the email so we go to general activities and we just choose the log so let's link this send email to the log in order to keep this uh, tutorial as simple as possible i am not uh, handing any errors or exceptions so i'll just uh, expect a happy scenario so in the message in the log we will just write email sent successfully so that's it for the process to keep it as simple as possible now what we can do we can just run this process so we will right click and we will choose this run business works application so this business works application will start loading and in the console you will be able to see so if everything goes well and if everything is uh, working perfectly fine then we will see the log message and then we will be able to verify the email from our email accounts as well let's give it a, a couple of seconds so that uh, it gets loaded so as you can see the project uh, has loaded and uh, the process has run successfully if we see here in the logs we can see the message email sent successfully and we don't see any errors so it means uh, things went well now we can go to uh, gmail account either on the sender side or receiver side and verify that email is uh, available either in the sent items or in the inbox so here you can see that uh, i have uh, received the email successfully and this email with the subject test email sent from tutorials pdr tutorial and the body contains this email is from app gmail send mail tutorial so that's it from this tutorial and i hope that uh, the information that i have communicated in this video tutorial is helpful for you if you have any questions you can ask me in the comments section and uh, make sure that uh, you don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you are able to get latest videos from the channel as and when uploaded thank you very much